have made quite a wide variety of videos about plants, specifically plants that could kill or otherwise cause you great discomfort. So let's go to the entire opposite end of that spectrum and talk about plants that actually have medicinal properties. Hi, Emily. First up, let's talk about the willow tree. So historically, willow, mainly the bark, but also the leaves, has been used in a variety of medicinal purposes, largely for fevers and pain. The bark specifically has often been boiled in order to extract the compounds that help reduce fevers, as well as providing pain relief for things like injuries or stomach discomfort or illnesses. It's often regarded as being an anti-inflammatory, as well as things that just reduce fever and pain and otherwise swelling. It's been used to treat fevers from sickness or injury, as well as things like arthritis or other chronic inflammatory diseases. Now, lots of these claims aren't like fully scientifically substantiated. There's a lot of, mm, does it actually, how much of this is placebo? But there are things that do have some health benefits in especially the willow bark. So willow bark does contain this chemical compound called salicin, and when ingested by the body, it's broken down into another compound. The salicin gets metabolized into this guy, which is salicylic acid. Now, salicylic acid does have some anti-inflammatory as well as analgesic or pain-killing properties. And salicylic acid has a structure that is very, very similar to a very well-known compound, which is this guy, acetyl salicylic acid, or the more common name, aspirin. Now, I'm sure almost everybody here has taken aspirin at some point in their life, and it is a painkiller. Now, there is kind of a common misconception that aspirin is found in willow bark. That's not really true. That's more of a myth. Aspirin isn't really found anywhere in the wild naturally. It has to be chemically synthesized. But it does have a very, very similar structure to the salicylic acid, which is also, again, not produced naturally in the environment but is a metabolite from the naturally pro pro whoa, naturally produced salicin. So basically, we have the willow tree here, and usually the willow bark is harvested and almost always boiled to make a kind of tea. That tea contains the compound salicin, when ingested, is metabolized to produce this salicylic acid that has a mild pain-killing and fever-reducing effect. This salicylic acid is very, very similar in structure and also vaguely in function to this aspirin, which is a much stronger painkiller, but it does have a similar structure to the salicylic acid. So aspirin does have a much stronger effect than the salicylic acid, so it is recommended that you take aspirin instead of willow bark or anything. It's much stronger and it has a much better effect. And additionally, willow bark and salicin and salicylic acid do have other effects. A lot of the time it is very, very bitter and really does not taste good at all. And it can also cause stomach irritation and allergic reaction. So it is recommended that if you need to just take aspirin, it's a lot more effective and doesn't have as many side effects, but it is still very cool that these trees do have some compounds in it that can be used as the painkillers, if absolutely need be.